now you find this integral and let me write it in a more compact form so e11 is equal to minus this is 4 minus 4 v naught and 1a will cancel with this one so minus 4 v naught over a because 1a will simplify here then integral from 0 to a and sine look here I can write this one is sine square this one and sine square this one so I can write this one is let me write it in a compact way so it will be sine 4 pi x over a and d x how I will write this one because look here we are applying the delta function here now how we apply the delta function here when x2 will be equal to x1 right when x then this delta function will operate so either we make x2 equal to x1 or x1 equal to x2 let's say we make x2 is we have applied the delta function x minus a when x is equal to a it becomes f of a so here for x2 you write x1 and it will be pi x1 over a then pi x1 over a squared squared this will become dx1 now if you write x1 or you write x there is no issue with this one because if it is x1 it is running from 0 to a if it is x x it is running from 0 to a so just the replacement of here and here the limits are the same so i have just written it in generalized form you got this thing because we have we are applying this thing here from minus infinity to plus infinity and f of x delta x minus a dx is equal to f of a so you apply one integral on this one for the delta function and it is 0 to a x1 equal to x2 it will give you value otherwise not so it will come out to be pi sine square and sine square pi x1 over a pi x1 over a so it will become sine 4 pi x1 over a dx1 and then i can convert like dx1 i want to write dx because it doesn't matter as long as the limit you can convert it into dy if you want so it is equal to this one and from the table of integrals from the table of integrals uh, if we do a little bit of approximations uh, suppositions like i suppose pi over a x equal to y okay let me do this thing pi over a and x is equal to y then what about dx d this implies that dx will be equal to a over pi and dy so for dx i will write a over pi dy so i can write that this thing is equal e11 is equal to minus 4 v naught over a and then a over pi integral from 0 to a limits are the same right limits are the same from 0 to a now limits will change because let's see when x is 0 then y is 0 as well because x is 0 so y is 0 when x is equal to a when x is equal to a so y is equal to a cancel and y is equal to pi 
So if you convert this into y, then you will write the limits is from 0 to pi and then you write sine 4 y dy. Now from the table of integrals you can find this value that sine 4 x dx integral is equal to 3 pi by 8. This integral is equal to 3 pi over 8. So just put 3 pi over 8 here and do simplify with this a a will simplify pi pi will simplify 4 and 8 will simplify and you will get that e11 is equal to minus 3 over 2 v naught you can do the simplification it's easy 4 and it will become 2 so 2 here and 3 from here then a will cancel phi phi will cancel so it is minus 3 over 2 v naught this is the first order correction to the energy in the ground state due to the introduction of this perturbation this is the perturbation which is acting like a weak interaction between the bosons similarly we can find the first order correction to the first excited state this is the excited first excited ground st uh, first excited state unperturbed and this e21 e21 will be the first excited perturbed state first order correction to that one and this i can write is this will be the same practice psi 2 0 and h prime psi 2 0 the way we did here ground state view function the unperturbed we have taken now here we will take the first excited uh, state unperturbed view functions and we will apply h prime there so you will have to go through the same practice here and let me briefly do this thing so i will explain the steps on the go and this thing is equal to minus a v naught over um, minus a v naught let me write it separately minus a v naught 2 over a square 2 over a square because it was 4 v naught over a but 1 4 from here so it simplified and then the integral one integral another integral from 0 to a and now we will apply the delta function again i am writing now on uh, this one this is now the unperturbed wave function so i will have to write this one and this is equal to sine sine pi x1 over a and sine 2 pi sine 2 pi x2 over a plus plus it will be sine 2 pi sine 2 pi x 1 over e and sine pi x 2 over e and this will become whole squared because for the one and then for the other like we are just doing this one so these two will be multiplied and it will become whole squared and then the delta function delta x1 minus x2 dx1 dx2 
here we have almost done those steps but here was a different wave function and over there is a different wave function and now we will solve this one we can solve this one sine pi x1 over a and here is pi x2 over a this is sine 2 pi x1 so they are the opposite of each other but when we will apply x1 equal to x2 then what will happen make all x2 equal to x1 so it will become pi x1 this is pi x1 this will become 2 pi x2 so this is 2 pi x1 this is 2 pi x1 so it will just simply 2 times n square of that thing they will add up and we will get 2 times of it and square of it. So it will be equal to 1, 2 will come. It will become this plus this. 2 times then 2 square is 4. So I can simply write here after the simplification that this will come out. You will have to do some intermediate steps yourself. If you uh, find any problem, then you can discuss with me. Minus 2v0 over a and from 0 to a sine of, sine of pi x, sine of pi x over a and sine of 2 pi x over a. Similarly, plus sine of 2 pi x over a and sine of pi x over a and this one is called squared and dx will come in. So the x1 then I replace the x1 I just replace with x in order to be consistent. There is no need to write x1 now. Why we are writing x1 and x2 because they are two different. When it is just x1 I can write it as x. And now you can just write this one earlier and this one later it's not a problem so it will become as i told you earlier that it will become two times of this you just do the simplification so four will come out of it and it will become minus eight v naught over a and from zero to a sine squared pi x over a and sine squared 2 pi x over a and d x and now again you will do that substitution like pi x over a is equal to y and then change the limits so you will get um, keep this thing uh, is the sine sine 4 over there we were having sine 4 of y dy and sine 4 of y dy was 3 pi over 8 here it will uh, come out after the supposition uh, sine square okay let me write this one after the supposition means the same supposition that phi x over a is equal to y and it will come out to be minus 8 pi minus 8 v naught over a and 4 will come in here and sine square why 4 because we do simplify uh, the terms here so sine square y and sine square 2 y Okay. sine square y and sine square 2y minus 8 v naught over a and a over pi will come here and this is from 0 to pi sine square y sine square 2y because pi x over a is y so it will become 2y and then it will be dy because pi a over pi is here 
I have just moved it there. Now you know this relation that how to convert sine of y and sine of 2y because they are different. You know sine 2 x is equal to 2 sine x cos x. So you will have to do that conversion and you can uh, write this thing minus 8 v naught a a will cancel so this is phi and this will become 4 times from 0 to phi and sine square y sine square y and cos square y you convert sine 2y into that into sine square and cos square this becomes 4 times of this so 4 is here and this is equal to this you just utilize the very easy trigonometric relations here and then dy now again sine square plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so cos square you can convert into sine square again so it will be sine 4 of y into 1 minus sine square so sine 4 minus sine 6 and final your final integration is you do multiply this one so minus 32 v naught over pi integral from 0 to pi and this is sine 4 y minus sine 6 y and d y and is we have already done the sine 4 y it is 3 pi, pi over 8 while the sine 6 y it is 5 pi by 16 5 pi by 16 so you just put these two values and here minus 32 v naught over pi 3 pi over 8 minus 5 pi over 16 and this is equal to minus 2 v naught right this is minus 2 v naught so the first order correction to the first excited state wave function is uh, to the energy is this one to the ground state energy modified in the first excited state energy modified when we consider the interaction between the bosons and this is the solution of the problem okay thank you